Hey guys, it's the 5 Star Filmer here, back in the video, and today I'm going to show you a solution to this model rendering problem that I had. When I would render an object model, say like a tree or like a car, whenever I rendered it and put it into material mode, it would become all gray and all the color would be gone, but the texture face would still be there. And no matter like how I exported it or what I did, it still didn't change that fact. But I recently figured out how to solve it, so I'm here to show you guys that just in case you had the same problem too. What you wanna do is right click Click one of the leaf parts and on the sidebar it should be highlighted in white text and you just want to expand it until you see all the textures it's usually the one underneath the little grid and it has this little picture in it and that's usually the texture so what you want to do is search that up on your computer as I've done here so it looks like this gray little static thing now what you want to do is open up your image editing program I use GIMP it's free it works good I like it what I usually do is I I import the, the texture file into the editing program so it just looks like the square of static one of the options is I could just color this whole thing green but that's gonna get rid of the texture that I want the one that the texture that it looks like it has a little bunch of leaves and sticks in it what I would normally do is I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna make it transparent and I'm gonna put it underneath the original texture and I'm just gonna fill it green. You can't see that here because the top texture is blocking it, but if I were to unsee it, you could see it's just completely green. And then what you wanna do is change the opacity of the original layer. And the reason why we do that is because the white spaces in the original texture aren't transparent. So you can't see the green from the layer below. So we change the opacity so you can kind of see the green, but also still be able to see the texture. So depending on how much like of the texture you wanna see and then how much like green you wanna see, like this one, it's a really faint texture. And then this one's like a really light green and a heavy texture. So you can just change. I kind of like it in between like that that's fine with me then what you want to do it is merge the layers together and then you want to overwrite it so file overwrite leaves one text.png or whatever name your texture png was and then you want to go back to blender import the same file that you did last time and it should come out green and as you see all the leaves have the same texture name so they're all going to come out the same green as that one i would usually use this method for simple and repeating textures you know not models that have a lot of meticulous parts in it because if you're going to do a lot of meticulous parts and they're all different then you're going to have to end up changing each and every single texture to the color or whatever way you want it yeah that's basically the solution to this thing you can just delete the other old gray ugly tree that's pretty much it um if you guys want any more tutorials i guess or any more questions on rendering or using blender because that's the only program i know how to use uh just put them in the comments and i'll try to make more tutorials if you want them but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time bye